Thank you for having us, and thank you to all of you who joined today. In this webinar, we will be discussing HV Fuller, our technologies, our expertise, and our innovative materials for electric vehicle batteries. We are all really excited to share with you how we can best serve you as a resource for solving your problems and offering unique solutions. As we all know, the electric vehicle and battery market is constantly evolving and ever changing. Engineers are working every day to design and build the next generation of batteries that are better, safer, and more reliable. Today, we will discuss the unique need of electric vehicle battery construction and how we at HB Fuller can help you in your efforts to achieve your goals. To start this webinar, I will introduce you to HB Fuller as a company and the company's approach to working and helping our customers become successful. Next, we will do a review of the steps to constructing a battery module, or at least the steps you'll need adhesives for. Then, finally, we will look at each of those steps, review the requirements of an adhesive used there, and share with you HB Fuller's innovative technologies that meet and exceed those needs. So who is HB Fuller? Founded in 1887, HB Fuller strives to be the best adhesives and sealants company in the world. We have a global reach with local expertise. Where we have found our success with our customers is being a healthy, sustainable corporation who dedicates our resources and investments to focusing on solving our customers' problems. With $3 billion in revenue annually and over 6,300 employees globally, we have the capabilities to service and support customers all around the world. Our footprint includes 72 manufacturing facilities, 38 technical facilities in 36 countries, which allows us to leverage our over 10,000 adhesive solutions technologies and innovations throughout the world. Our technology centers provide a center of excellence for specific technology types and allow us to provide physical, functional, and analytical testing capabilities to our customers during validation and evaluation process. Why HP Fuller? HP Fuller provides a total solution with material innovation, product validation, application implementation to material processing and startup support. We pride ourselves on providing turnkey solutions that allow our customers to focus on progression of their projects and helping them meet their deadlines. A typical project cycle for our customers would start with application requirements or CTQs, where we would provide material solutions in collaboration with our material experts. HB Fuller provides customer specific testing at our state of the art testing facilities, in person application support at your site as well. We have capabilities to perform material dispensing for validation prototypes for manual dispensing equipment to fully automated six axle robot applications, depending on our customer's needs. In some instances, we can loan dispensing equipment to our customers at their facility. This support allows our customers to test their parts for qualification internally. We have partnered with equipment suppliers to provide turnkey solutions to manufacturing and HB Fuller provides the material application support for startup and production to ensure our customers succeed. Due to our global presence and manufacturing capabilities, we can support our customers anywhere in the world. As we all are aware, there are three types of lithium ion battery form factors. They are cylindrical, pouch, and prismatic. We will be looking at the construction of modules using all three form factors and the additional steps required for some. Like I mentioned before, we will be looking at the steps and the corresponding innovative adhesives used to construct a battery module. The first step is cell to cell or cell to gap pad bonding. Typically, this step is seen in modules using prismatic and pouch form factors. Next will come coating of the cold plate which is followed by attaching cells to the cold plate. Step four will be cell to carrier bonding, which is typically for cylindrical cells, but is done with prismatics as well. Step five will be the assembly of the module walls and the remaining structure of the module. Step six is the encapsulation of the cells. And finally, step seven is sealing of the module. 
As many of you know, there are many ways to rearrange the order of the steps of assembling a battery module. This slide represents just one of those ways. However, the materials we are going to discuss in the rest of this presentation will apply to each of those steps regardless of the order in which we're designed to build the module. Now we will view the requirements of the adhesive or sealant that would be used in each of these stages. HB Fuller's line of EV products will meet and exceed those needs as well. Rich, can you start us off with step one, cell to cell bonding? Sure, Mike, here we go. The first step is cell to cell or cell to gap pad bonding. This step is usually only done using pouch or prismatic cells. The most important aspect of this step is the speed of manufacturing. This is why an adhesive used in this step must be sprayable, robotically applied, and most importantly, have good green strength. Green strength is how well the adhesive bonds directly after application. For this application, we recommend our EV Bond 701 and 702. They are hot melt pressure sensitive adhesives. Both are easily applied via sprayer and as a pressure sensitive adhesive will have the green strength you're looking for when the cells are stacked on each other or the gap pad. It's beneficial to use a sprayed hot melt PSA because the adhesive is applied in a thin layer which cools almost immediately on contact but will not cure until it is pressed into another substrate. These products have two main differentiators their relatively high heat resistance and good adhesion to low surface energy plastics. Typical hot melt adhesives will begin to soften within the operating heat range of a lithium ion cell, but these materials will not experience that up until 130 degrees C. The adhesion to low energy plastics like HDPE and polypropylene is definitely an advantage when cells are coated or even constructed of these materials. The next step is coating of the cold plate. This step is important for both thermal management and arc prevention in the module. That's why the two critical attributes of a coating used in this stage are thermal conductivity and electrical insulation. However, in many cases, the coatings that are available will only provide one or the other. Two additional characteristics to consider is the uniformity of the coating, which aids with thermal interfacing, and how well it adheres to both the plate and the adhesive used to bond the cells. Our recommended materials to fill this need are the EV Therm 500 and 501. They are two-part epoxies designed to work as coatings as well as can be used for potting materials. The major benefit for both materials is that they're both thermally conductive and electrically insulative. They bond well to nickel and aluminum and can be sprayed to a tolerance of plus or minus 0.05 millimeters. Another excellent feature of these products is that they are dilutable, meaning they can be thinned using acetone to adjust viscosity for your specific application and ultimately control coating thickness. Finally, both products have the UL94 V0 flame rating, which is always beneficial in a battery pack construction. Moving on from coating the cold plate, next is bonding of the cells to the cold plate. The attributes of a good adhesive for this application include thermal conductivity, high bond strength, especially to different metals, and fixture times that are fast enough for manufacturing environments. Fixture time is a term used to describe the time it takes for an adhesive to cure enough to be moved to the next point in a process or taken out of its fixture. As mentioned in one of the previous slides, it is also very important for these materials to be flame resistant. The two products we have specifically designed for this application are the EV Therm 420 and 440. These are methyl methacrylate adhesives or MMAs. 
MMAs are known for being very robust adhesives that will bond very well to many substrates, especially metals like nickel and aluminum, without the need for surface preparation or cleaning. Their fast fixture times make them work well for manufacturing environments. Now, the unique thing about the EV Therm 420 and 440 is that unlike most MMAs, they are very low odor, low exotherm, and most importantly, non-flammable. These materials also carry that UL94 V0 rating. The final characteristic that sets these materials apart is that they are thermally conductive, making them a great material for cell to cold plate bonding. We also have formulated the EV Therm 505, 520, and 560 for this application. These products are two-part structural epoxies that bond very well to a variety of substrates, including good metal bonding. They are also UL94 V0 rated and provide very high thermal conductivity and very high dielectric strength as well. Step four is cell-to-cell -cell carrier bonding. This step is usually done using cylindrical cells. However, it can also be done with prismatics. The carrier is used to help keep cells in place during the manufacturing process. These are several key attributes for a good adhesive in this application. First is non-sag high thixotropy. This means the adhesive is resistant to flowing or moving from where it is applied. Second is a fast cure time. The adhesive must cure quickly in order to enable the carrier remains in place. The final key attribute is long open time. Open time is the time it takes for an adhesive to begin to cure. This is important because there are many dots of material required to be placed on a single carrier and that adhesive cannot begin to cure until the carrier and the cells are mated. For cell to carrier bonding, we recommend CB2240. This is a cyanoacrylate rapid cure adhesive. It has the ability to cure within seconds of the joining of the two substrates, yet with virtually limitless open time. They bond well, it bonds well with steel, aluminum, and ABS, PVC, and other plastics. The ability to bond metal to plastic well and the long open time makes this material excellent for cell to cell, uh, cell to carrier bonding. As shown in the video, this adhesive can be robotically applied with precision to ensure high level of accuracy and speed. Combining this with bond strength in seconds will help your process move more accurately and efficiently. The next material that works well here is the EV Bond 600. This is an, a UV cure acrylic adhesive, which is thixotropic and again, non-sag. It works well in the bonding of plastics to metals. The excellent part of using a UV cure adhesive in a cell to carrier bonding is that similar to cyanoacrylates, it has virtually limitless open time, but will not cure once the substrates are mated. The only time a UV adhesive will cure is in the presence of the appropriate UV light, as you see in this video. This allows for flexibility and adjustment in your manufacturing process. It's strong, flexible, and well-suited to bonding dissimilar substrates and can also be robotically applied. Finally, we have EV Bond 343. This is a medium hardness, semi-flexible, two-component polyurethane adhesive designed for bonding applications requiring resilient bonds and again is non-sag and thixotropic. It exhibits high elongation and enhanced adhesion to flexible substrates. It's suitable for bonding metal and select types of untreated thermo thermoplastic substrates such as ABS, polycarbonate, nylon, and even the newest generation of flame retardant composites. From here, I'm gonna pass it over to Jermaine for the next stage. Thanks, Rich. So step five is the forming and bonding of the sides of the module as well as the remaining structure. 
This step typically requires the least amount of special D characteristics, but there are still a few to make sure we have. The adhesives used in this application should have high structural bond strength to ensure the module is held together during the life cycle of the pack and be easy to apply with cure times that accommodate the pace of manufacturing. They also importantly need to have high heat and flame resistance for safety purposes. For these structural applica applications, we recommend the EV Bond 420 and 440. These are also MMA adhesives. They are robust and bond well to a variety of substrates, especially metals like nickel and aluminum, without the need of much surface preparation. Like the EV Therm 420 and 440, they are also low odor, low exotherm, and most importantly, non-flammable. Another pretty unique product for these module and enclosure construction applications is the EV Bond 383. It's a two component epoxy that has outstanding bond strength on aluminum, steel, FRP, and other composite materials. It also has great elongation properties for an epoxy, allowing it to stretch over 14% of its original bond size. It also has a longer open time than our MMAs, which can allow for longer positioning and overall longer working time. But one of the unique characteristics of this material is its high heat resistance. After setting and even while it's curing, it can go through paint shop, e-coat, and powder coat ovens without blistering or damaging the adhesive, as you can see from this video. For modules where you are assembling the walls and the structure prior to adding the, adding the cells, this can be an attractive solution. So now we're moving on to step six. One of the most important steps in terms of safety for the module is this step, cell encapsulation. And the key feature of an encapsulant is flame retardancy. The entire reason to encapsulate your battery in the first place is to help reduce the risk of thermal propagation in the event of a cell runaway. Some other features that need to be considered when selecting an encapsulant are light weighting, ease of processability, how it can be integrated into the manufacturing process, and how it protects the battery mechanically. So I wanna take some time to review the significance of cell encapsulation. There have been several major auto manufacturers that have re issued recalls due to battery-related safety concerns much of which are around the potential sale failures that lead to potential catastrophic fires. These fires without the adequate safeguards can accelerate in rapid succession and propagate to other cells. So to mitigate these potential risks, many companies have put in robust safety strategies, and these in typically include thermal management systems, which can help minimize the heat retention in the battery module and optimize the efficiency overall of the battery. We have BMS systems or battery management systems that again, optimize the battery performance and will turn off areas of electrical flow when the system, system detects any concern. You also have innovation of new battery cells to address individual design concerns and improve cell structure. And lastly, and I would say most importantly is encapsulation technologies designed to prevent and slow fires within the battery system. All of these strategies need to be addressed to provide the maximum protection and safety for the end consumer. Without these measures, companies are risking not only the safety of their customer, but the reputation of the brand and the industry as a whole. The one encapsulant that HP Fuller specifically designed to meet and exceed the needs of this application is the EV Protect 4006. It is flame retardant, a low density polyurethane foam that provides fire protection for EV battery cells by reducing the risk of thermal propagation. And apart from this, our foam encapsulant also provides additional benefits in the way of light weighting, fast and easy processability, good noise vibration, harshness resistance, and cost savings. So here's something quite cool. HP Floor worked closely with ZeroTech to provide a solution for their lithium ion battery pack design. See ZeroTech's testing without the potting on the left and with EV Protect 4006 on the right. You can see the that the thermal runaway event ends once all the electrolytes are consumed on the module on the right, where the module without any potting on the left goes into thermal propagation. 
Zero Tech's battery pack architecture incorporated the EV Protect 4006 encapsulant into their patented battery solution. And in doing so, the EV Protect 4006 actually helped them prevent thermal propagation, gave good dielectric strength, and also gave significant mass reduction. To give another view, here's a video of some internal testing that we did. Uh, every battery module will perform differently based on its design, and we at HP Fuller will be happy to work with you on a tailored propagation testing. This video is showing a side-by-side -side view of a cluster, a cell cluster, and you can see from the thermal energy on the, with the infrared camera on the right, you can see the quick thermal dissipation after the initial explosion to prevent a prolonged fire. And this is another look at that cell cluster. Um, if a cell shorts, the EV Protect 4006 will actually absorb the energy from the initial explosion to prevent additional physical damage to the module and the remaining cells around it. This is achieved mainly due to a strong charred dead layer that creates a barrier when it comes into contact with heat or flames. And this helps prevent heat transfer to the EGIT to the adjacent cells and thus preventing the flames to continue burning and then cascading into thermal propagation. So moving on, the second most important aspect we feel uh, is we need for a successful encapsulant was low density. So light weighting has been an automotive trend for years and for EV, this continues to be a critical part to increase your vehicle range. And this is where the EV Protect 4006 provides a huge benefit. The specific gra gravity of EV Protect 4006 in its liquid state is 1.21. However, after full cure, the density drops to 0.16 grams per milliliter. If you compare this density to a standard two-component potting or encapsulate material, you would see a significant increase in weight. The average densities for these standard grains grades range from about 1.3 to 1.8 grams per milliliter, and thus taking an average of 1.5, you would see an almost 10 times increase in density compared to the EV Protect 4006. And that's what this diagram is trying to show. You could fill about 10 battery packs with the same weight of EV Protect 4006 compared to just one battery pack with an alternative material. And this is very significant. This low density characteristic was not a mistake. We purposefully designed this product to uh, purposefully designed this material with that in mind from the start. The third most important material attribute considered when developing the EV Protect 4006 was processability. We know that speed of production and reduced cycle times is always critical in manufacturing, and the EV Protect 4006 is unique where it's low in viscosity and which allows for the product to quickly flow into all the key intricate areas within the battery module and then level off. This allows for the foam to uniformly rise and then fill all the gaps. And the material, importantly, is successful in being dispensed using production level automation equipment. We have a few different grades of the EV Protect 4006, which can be adjusted for speed of foaming and curing. The current most popular one has a foaming time of about three to four minutes and a tack free time of 20 minutes. Other versions can foam as quick as one minute. There are several factors uh, to consider when deciding on the right foam, such as the battery pack itself, the design, the equipment being used and processing, but we can tune or tailor the product for your individual requirements. This video that's playing uh, demonstrates the EV Protect 4006 being dispensed using a dynamic mixer system from Graco. We partner with equipment manufacturers like Graco to help validate and conduct DOEs to ensure their equipment works hand in hand with our material. In this case, Graco has done a great job of dialing in their Voltex dynamic mix valve to ensure optimal mixing and result in optimal foam characteristics. That video was playing showed a lab unit, so it was low volume, low speed, but it demonstrated the capability of the equipment and the material. So together we can offer a turnkey solution for the EV Protect 4006 and process equipment required uh, to dispense it. The EV Protect 4006 has a soft but yet firm foam structure of open and closed cells that gives this material some unique benefits when compared to other two component chemistries. So one example is after the material is cured, 
uh, and has encapsulated the battery cells and other components, the material actually acts as a unitizing force, ensuring that the energy into the battery system will be absorbed across the entire battery and not just one point. So this actually will help prevent isolated failures, which will ultimately could cause safety concerns. And it's also thermally insulative. So that can help prevent heat from spreading to adjacent cells while also protecting the module from any external temperature extremes. The foam also provides uh, excellent damping properties, which help with the absorption of road noise, vehicle vibration, um, providing the customer overall with a better quality experience. During life cycle testing and thermal propagation evaluations, our customers that determined that the EV Protect 4006 was also able to absorb the naturally occurring expansion and contraction cycles of battery cells during the charging and discharging cycling. Because it's not too rigid, it prevented um, it prevented adding any undue stresses on the battery cells, which then helps avoid potential premature cell failure. And lastly, but also important, uh, the lightweight nature of the material of this material, um, it actually provides structural reinforcement within the module. So it takes off any stresses or strains that uh, the frame of the module or any other reinforcements would have. Other heavier alternative options could cause cracked welds and structural damage during road testing. So the fifth most important aspect we considered was, of course, cost. Uh, one of the great benefits of an expandable material is that the fill volume can be satisfied with less material. So this provides significant cost savings in the amount of material required to purchase. The EV Protect 4006 expands five-fold which means compared to a standard two component potting product, you are minimizing your material consumption by five times. So as an example, five pail kits of a standard two component product would equal one pail kit of our EV Protect 4006. And this is a huge benefit to our customers. Also to take into consideration with less material means you have less shipping costs, less footprint required in the plant, and less material handling, which means less labor costs. All of these have an impact on our end customers. We know the cost for electric vehicles, and in particular, the battery packs, need to be competitive to continue the expansion of EV within the marketplace. This is why we developed our EV Protect 4006 to be the most cost-effective solution for battery pack encapsulation. And with that, I'll hand it over back to Mike to discuss the final step. The final step in module construction process is sealing of the module. These seals must be water and dust tight, able to stand up to aging and weathering, and stand up to compression sets over time. The EV Seal 500 is a unique product that can seal, be opened, and then resealed over and over again. It meets IP67, IP68, and IP69 standards, weathers extremely well and has excellent compression set properties. Since it is a very specialized thermal plastic PSA hot melt formulation, it is very easy to automate. It's repairable and recyclable. If there is a problem with the gasket you made, you peel it off your part, throw it back in the reservoir, and nothing is wasted. EV Seal 500 provides the confidence that the contents of your battery pack will be safe from the environment. EV Seal 500 will help you reduce manufacturing cost using a fast, accurate robotic application like what you're watching here. Automation like this will provide all the repeatability and reliability you've been needing. The robotic dispensing system will help you assure that bead height, width, straight curves and knit lines look exactly the same on every part. EV Seal 500 is a one part adhesive and sealant. There's no mixing, there's no mistakes. It flows very consistently, assuring that you have a uniform looking bond line. It's applied hot and then it cools rapidly to set very quickly um, to the substrate applied. The Heavy bodied Thixotropic product stays right where it's applied, allowing it to be used horizontally, vertically, or even on slopes and angles. 
EVCO 500 tends to favor the substrate upon which it's applied. Only a couple instances where different results occur are shown in the chart above. We will need to test your specific substrate to know exactly what to expect on your project. We also offer the EV Bond 193. It is a high quality, high strength, natural cure elastic single component product with a duality of being an adhesive and a sealant. It's an MS polymer which cures when exposed to naturally occurring moisture on the part and humidity. The skin formation and curing time are dependent upon humidity and temperature, and the curing time also depends on joint depth. To speed the cure, just increase the temperature and moisture slash humidity. The EV Bond 193 is odorless and free of solvents, isocyanates, silicons, and PVC. It demonstrates very good adhesion to many strub substrates without the need of a primer. This adhesive sealant also demonstrates excellent UV resistance, making it a great choice for interior and exterior use. EV Seal 159 is an extreme temperature capable, medium viscosity, high elongation, fast cure form and place gasket maker, which provides an instant seal and high strength structural strength. It's very well suited for sealing and mating surfaces with high deformation and relative displacement uh, that will need to withstand shock, vibration, and impact. EV Seal 159 can help you reduce costs associated with expensive preformed specialty gaskets and improve the extreme temperature performance seal and sealing of these enclosures. In this case, extreme means flame resistance to 800 degrees C or more for over seven minutes. That's approaching 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. It's, easy, it's easily robotically applied uh, exactly where you want it on your part uh, and very good aging and weatherability, making it well suited for extreme exposure. Finally, I would like to emphasize that HB Fuller is a total value provider. Our services go far beyond recommending an adhesive. When you partner with HB Fuller, we work with you on every step to make sure that the implementation of our products is done flawlessly and that your questions and concerns are addressed immediately. We can offer turnkey adhesive solutions that can be e simply plugged in to your process rapidly, especially when timelines are short. We particularly excel at working with our customers to create game-changing innovations that meet the evolving requirements of EV batteries, providing you with more freedom in your next battery design. Our support doesn't end when you validate our project products. Quite contrary, HB Fuller tech service team will make sure that the production process continues without problems anywhere in the world you produce. Our passion is connecting what matters. Let's connect what matters to you. Any questions?